Chat, we're gonna start the hacker replay. This is the last hacker replay of Crystal Guard. It's actually gonna come out on YouTube after High Caliber drops. We got the whiteboard. So, we have not recorded a hacker replay in a week. And as far as I'm aware, I haven't encountered any hackers in the last week while playing. Days since hacker. We are currently at seven days. Our goal for this last hacker replay of the season is to keep it at seven. I, I had two matches. I couldn't decide which one to do first. So I decided to do the shorter one first so that it'll engage more people. And then we'll do a longer one second. And we have Bateki accusing Toyota.Corolla. And it's a five round ranked match. Game is pretty choppy. This is generally a result of the people who submit it, so in this case Pateki, having a slower computer that can't save data as smoothly or as fast. And hopefully it smooths out a little bit, or at least isn't too choppy for the entire match. They just AFK. Oh no, they're back, they're back. Enabling cheats. They did hover over the one defender, but that was while they were, like, swiping, so they probably just coincidentally lined up on them. That echo drone, though. So I believe this is ranked. I'm, like, 99% sure. He's shooting locations where people aren't, so that looks good for him. He's checking everything. Shot the printer, because honestly, fuck printers, right? God, it is so choppy. I'm gonna have to add in like a hardware requirement before people submit hacker replays. You need at least. It's like that looked really suspicious, but I'm pretty sure that was just the game or replay being choppy. Told you, Jack. Battlefield is great. Battlefield has been such a nice game to like slowly transition to or like play more of it's just so calm like, I, I never get stressed playing the game i was just like oh let's have a good time so far he hasn't blatantly walled anyone Even there, like, the bandit kind of ran into the hallway, which... Oh, fuck, I went too far. I'm surprised that Twitch managed to win this engage. He just flicked over, and the guy was one shot, so a single bullet killed him. How did Wamai lose that? Oh no, it's Bateki, I'm sorry. Uh, I hit the door frame a little bit. Twitch was left at 1 HP. That one bullet hadn't hit the door frame. What did I just watch? Nomad just put an, a breaching charge on a barricade. Just to go outside. Okay. They put a bandit on a shield? Oh no. Oh no. He just stared at the Malusi as he hopped on his drone. God. Choppiness. It's always like whenever we're trying to get like an incriminating part gets super choppy. That part did look a little weird because it looked like almost he was looking over to the right as Malusi was walking across, but it could have just been a uh, like timing thing. Like even that was a little bit weird too. It's, just, it's so choppy; it's hard to tell. 
He's like half teleporting. Oh. Alright, let's... Let's see that. Again. That's one instance. One instance. That's pretty suspicious. But at the same time, you know, I could see it happening, so... Again, the choppiness does not help. But that was like the first time it happened to line up, and... Then like the rest of the rounds and matches, this person hasn't been locking onto anyone. They've just been walking around, checking everything. <laughs> what? The wall on the far right is soft. Oh no, it's... Oh, it is? Ash charger and break in. Oh no, what? I swear there was no reinforcement studs before. Default cam was still up. Got flanked. Eight and one, by the way. Because, like, stuff like that happens, and if you ever watch Pro League, because I had people ask me about this in the comments on the last Hacker Replay video. They're like, oh, you always say, like, these things happen, but, like, where do you see this happen? They're like, you should watch your own matches to show that it does happen. I'm like, it's not about happening to me. Like, you see it happen in Pro League all the time. Just, like, people will line up angles or shots and it looks like they're basically tracking people through walls. It doesn't mean they are, it just means that, you know, they were waiting for someone to be over there. Thank you for two months for cycle. I've done similar things like that after I see someone walk somewhere just in case he was going to repeak. Like, yeah, that was, it was weird because, you know, the Melissa hadn't peaked really that point before, but it was just one instance. The ADD is kicking in. Can't have anything around the room that's moving. I just love Dex, bro. Doesn't see the knock. That's right next to him. So, how did he know that Ash was down there? Did Cav get into a fight with them before? Doesn't seem like it. Okay, broke into Tellers. Oh, Cav would have. Oh, probably even saw the ash run by. Yeah, saw the ash run by, so it's not crazy to assume that the cav would call it out or ping it, and then Alibi would be like, oh. And also probably even heard it, which I could just see there heard it because it happened before the flash grenade went off. So they actually were already looking over there beforehand. God, the flicking looks so much worse with the stuttering. The music in the background, though, those wind chimes just bumping. camera or anything. It did seem weird that he just so happened to shoot as the buck was going to place the charger, like about to leave with 
after placing the charge. But actually, one sec. Let me see. Hmm. Yeah, like no one pinged it. No one really would have called out exactly where it was, but he did aim right over there. This seems a little weird. Okay, this gunfight's gonna go on forever because there's still like another 30 seconds. He actually killed Alibi. Fuck, now I gotta go back and see. How did he kill? Alibi. Just ran out on him. So far, two suspicious things. We got the uh, Malusi peeking the hallway and him like basically tracking her through the wall. Shooting at the buck after placing the breach charge. But not even just like waiting to hear it go off, like shooting as he was placing it. This guy who isn't cheating whoever submitted just sucks. I mean, Honestly, that's what half of our replays are. It's either people dying to smurfs and low ranks or cheaters well, destroying them. You know, it was like a common spawn peak, which I think has been around since like the rework got first introduced, so. Still not like tracking people or anything. He's just walking around, aim down set on everything. Also, am I dumb? I still don't know how to read this up here. What does the zero in this instance mean? The zero mean how many have been used? Or does it mean how many are actively placed? Because then the hard breach device just says two. And the claymore says three and zero. What does that mean? Three claymores have been placed? Yes. Wait, so who has the claymores? This is a bond. Hibana doesn't have a claymore. Hold on. <clears throat> Hibana has flashes and breaching charges, so why does it say three claymores? IQ and Zofia have claymores. It's broken. Actually, wait, none of this makes any sense. Hold on. It says nine breaching charges. That means three of them would have to bring it. And But it says also two hard breaching devices, which Nook had. And it says three claymores. What? So if we go back, you can see Hibana brought hard breach, or soft breach. Ace ha brought soft breach. Um, Nook brought hard breach. That's six... Uh, two, and then two claymores, so they overcounted the claymores and the soft breach devices. Oh, match replay. It's not like it's counting things that aren't there, because otherwise it would count flashbangs, I think, right? Maybe, I don't know. Alright, nothing happened in the last round. So, the reason why we chose that map, or match, and the reason why I didn't want to say it beforehand because I didn't want people to have preconceived notions is uh, that was a bronze lobby, which means that likely this is just a smurf account just dicking on people. But I want to see, oh actually, wait what? This is a legitimate bronze account. I didn't see much to indicate actual cheating. But there's no way this person went from bronze with a 0 0.3 KD to 0 0.5 KD all of a sudden to, like, almost 2 KD. Stolen account, maybe? Purchased account, maybe? It would seem weird to sell an account that you had just used in the previous season. Especially one stuck in bronze. I don't know what I rule this as. Because technically, stealing accounts is cheating. Um, selling accounts is cheating as well. But I don't think they had cheats or hacks. So it does seem weird to me to sell your account after you had just previously used it in the season before. But as you can tell here, they also stopped playing for two whole seasons. So maybe this person is just like, I don't really care that much about Siege. I'd rather just sell my account. 
or more likely stole the account. Um, okay, so I guess no cheater. So we still have day since last hacker being at seven days. Can you even see that on the screen? There you go. Day since hacker, seven days. I'm not going to say why this one was accused. I just want us to watch it and then I will make my point at the end. In this match, we have Sweaty Piano, who is accusing Chase Store, who is a recruit. That is not why I watched it. At least not the reason that was specified in the file. Wait, what? How did that pellet get on the ground? Oh, he tried to shoot another six, but did a little bit high and some of them went in on the ground. He actually almost killed Maverick there. Basically gave him a haircut. He's missing all of his shots at the SMG-11. I see him looking at people through walls. Not hard to notice, he's looking at that guy. He turns around to see who's around him. Although, I'll, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt, I do 360s like that sometimes too. Then he looks down. Okay, I see you. Oh, I see you. Look back. But, we'll see if there's more evidence. Or if that even counts. I think he missed those shots. Right, cause that was Twitch, yeah. Just looked at her and didn't react. Huh. Hmm. Still... Oh. This guy's game sense is just extraordinary. I want to see if he's recruited the entire match. He didn't even... I don't think he got any assists that entire round. Okay, so he very clearly has walls, which kind of sucks because it ruins the point that I was going to make. This was submitted um, by Sweaty Piano, and in the file, Sweaty Piano said that Chase Store basically spent the entire first eight rounds being useless, didn't do anything for the team, had no reasons to expect him to cheat. Because I'm sure if we go into round number eight, we can see, still recruit, is zero and six. Zero and six. But we can tell very clearly that he's using walls. Because he was looking at people and following people through walls. So we go on to the last round. And this was the original point that I was going to make. Also is the reason why a lot of people complain when they're like, Oh, well, like, I played all these ranked matches and I never noticed anyone cheating, but I still got, like, ELO taken away or given back like who are these cheaters these are them zero and seven he's still cheating just doesn't look like it in this match and then so like i said the reason why i kept this or used it as one of the first two is because apparently he goes full blatant in the last minute i'm curious to see how blatant he can get because, like, obviously, if you are on this team, there's no way you're going to expect this guy to be cheating. He's 0 and 7. You have no proof to show that he's cheating. So, a lot of people can just kind of sneak under the radar. 
He's tabbed out. Activating. Cheats. Locked on to him. <laughs> oh, he's telling Amr to go shoot through the hatch. Oh, so he's trying to be not too suspicious by not getting the kills. He's just communicating to his team. Like, you can see right there, he just pinged. And he's getting Amr to try to shoot through the hatch. Interesting. So he's getting other people to do his dirty work because he doesn't want to be flagged for suspicious activity. But now we have a minute left. He has aimbot. Not hipfire bot, but aimbot. Because you can tell right here, it was literally just... So he also has recoil hacks because... When his recoil goes to the ceiling like that, it means that on his end, he has perfect recoil. But on the replay, it doesn't show it. Jeez. Yeah, he literally, he toggled on everything. He toggled on aimbot, walls, um... Like recoil control, everything. So, the purpose of me showing this was because, as I say, I, I'm pretty sure I say this like every other match now, or every other hacker replay. I always get people saying, like, they come to my chat and they're like, oh, this is so boring, like, move on to the next match. He's clearly not cheating. That was someone who was 0 and 7, and then he just blatantly cheated in the very last minute of the last round. Because he didn't want to lose. These cheaters we can be patient and wait till the absolute last round to do it. So, judging them based off the first round or two is never a good idea. This is very interesting. This is someone who is trying to cheat their way through ranked. But not trying to be obvious enough to get reported. Because honestly, other than that last round... Why would you ever report this guy? If you were in a match and he had a like 3 and 7 KD or like 0 and 7 at that one point, would you ever report them? No. But you can tell the only time he ever like goes blatant is when they're about to lose because he just does not want to lose and waste time. Although he seems to lose a decent amount. So he's not been banned, even though he's literally using every single cheat available to him. We have encountered a cheater. It has been zero minutes since our last cheater. We have Smallabai accusing Vishenka. Okay, it's now a minute and a half into the round and they're finally getting to move. Also, the reason why I include matches like this, that I include low ranks or even in quick match sometimes, um, is because some people genuinely believe that cheaters do not exist outside of high ranked play. I did have that one uh, Twitter discussion with Bikini where he said cheaters, like, he's like, the average person will never see a cheater because most cheaters are in high plat, champion, or diamond elo. It's just not true. There are a ridiculous amount of cheaters in casual, low rank lobbies and even in newcomer, so I'll actually be tweeting this right after the stream's done. In the like six months we've been doing hacker replay, I've had almost fifteen thousand submissions, or more than fifteen thousand. That's a shit ton of submissions for that period of time. And we can probably assume that 80% of them are actually obvious cheaters, so... Pretty sure this guy is pretty obvious. He has zero recoil. 
like literally zero with an angle grip AK and he just is tracking that guy through the wall. I'll, uh, I'll pull up the text document as to why he got accused to see where exactly it happened. Round four is what we want to go to. We want to pay attention to the prep phase. So what we're looking for, since we're about to see it, was that. I was considering using that as the clickbait title for this week. Just because I've never seen someone at least very obviously do that. But it was funny because in the text document he's like, yeah, he seemed a little bit suspicious. But the most suspicious thing was that he auto-locked onto a drone. I've never seen anyone lock onto a drone with cheats. You know, obviously. Pretty obvious there. Otherwise, if there's even a drone hack now, then how desperate are people for wins that they have to get hacks just to see drones? We are moving on to our fourth match, where it's Tank T on PC, or Tanked on PC, who's accusing Mocha. Tank T on PC, accusing Mocha, dash dot dot, who is Ash. Very confused by what this uh, orange team is doing, because if I'm reading the stuff right at the top right, they have zero reinforcements used, I think. Or are there reinforcements here that are just not showing up? I can't tell. No, it looks like they have used zero reinforcements. Or replay is just bugged out. Because I did fast forward, so they might have used it while I was fast forwarding. He is cheating. Not really using it that well. And clearly not able to tell when someone has left. But he keeps looking towards where the pulse is. And he also was trying to like pre-fire that dock through the wall. Who I feel like probably still has stim pistols left and is just not using it for some reason. Why is he just not pushing him down there? Like he keeps holding this angle instead of pushing him. He could easily push him and kill him. Hmm. There were some instances that were a little weird, but a lot of them were just like him missing the shots and then just still shooting even though the person had left, so. Hmm. I wanna know how this person did not get the kill. Sorry to embarrass you, Tank T on PC, but. How did you not kill Ash who stood still? Oof. I assume the debris did not get in the way on his screen. That was probably just a replay thing. It did kind of look like he had lined him up through the wall, but at the same time, like, he was probably just trying to line up the window through the wall. And he's still shooting at it, even though Rook is long gone. Moving into the actual map a minute in. Holding, like, yeah, he's holding these weird angles that no one's at, so. If he's trying to hide his cheats, he's doing a good job because it's making me think that he's not cheating. I just noticed the Zofia's name Big Juice Daddy. If 
he knows the cab can's in here without any droning or intel, then I'll be. Oh, never mind. Cab can't move now. His recoil control is non existent. Like, he just shoots and then just lets it go. Like a Beyblade, he just lets it rip. This just takes forever to push in. Like, come on, man. Your team needs you. I don't think he should have been able to pull that off, but... Uh... Still doesn't seem like cheating. It looked like he was genuinely confused when he saw a cap can. Feels like low rank given this Ash's recoil control on the R4C. He did have like a lineup on the people through the wall, but he was also just shooting a window. I think that person had just jumped out. Which is why he just rapidly turned around looking for him. Yeah, he definitely jumped out. I think that window was broken. Possible Petrus, but we gotta we gotta watch the entire match. Never rule out that the submitter could be salty that they lost a gunfight. But like we had in that last match where the recruit was zero and seven, we gotta we gotta watch it all. Cause just being negative or being uh like useless throughout most of the match does not mean that you're not hacking. That was a little weird, but it didn't look like he was necessarily aiming at him. When I was going through, I forget what post it was on the subreddit. There was a post on the subreddit, and people were talking about me. Oh, I think it was a, I think it was a hacker post. They're like, this person's so blatantly cheating. And then in the comments, people were like, if this was Varsity's hacker replay, he'd be like, well, I don't know, guys, Like, I think we need to see more evidence. <laughs> Which is 100% fair. I say that a lot. I think this is one of those cases where it's like, there's some things happening, but like nothing crazy. It's not like this guy's just walking around, head or head firing, headshot, firing at everyone. It's just uh, doing his thing, and the enemies kind of seem to be just as bad as him. Decided against shooting the camera. The camera was actually already destroyed. Um, so that's a hacker, or not a hacker replay. A replay bug is that if someone else destroys the camera, sometimes it doesn't show it actually being destroyed. Or even if they destroy it, it might not actually go away. Which is why uh, when we see something happen, we're like, okay, maybe it was someone on cameras. I have to go back to the beginning and pay attention to every person and see if they actually destroyed the camera or not. Because it doesn't show it. The action phase only just started and the round is half over, which means the round probably lasts a minute total. Maybe a minute 15. Just kidding, it does not look like it goes well for him. He does not get any shots or even see a single person. That looked okay. Nothing suspicious. He had walls there. Um, this is like one way we can kind of tell a little bit that he's fine. If he had walls here, when Sledge breaks the window, he would have fired more towards where he actually was. Instead, he fired into the air and like had no idea. He just fired across, hoping to get a pre-fire shot on him. So that looks good for him, because then that means he's not at least blatantly staring where he is. On peeking his dock, what a surprise. Remember when Doc had the ACOG? Baby, those were the spawn peaking days. Every coconut video. What's up, Roz? I'm gonna show you how to get five kills with the Doc ACOG spawn peak. He had no idea that Sledge was even coming through there. So far, this guy's looking not even that good, so I'm surprised that he got accused. Maybe he turns blatant in the overtime rounds. Kinda looks like he's staring at them through the wall. And turns around to go look over there. Or is he holding red stairs? I don't know why he'd be holding red stairs at this point. It also doesn't look like he's actually fully looking at them through the wall. 
I just love you would be able skills. to hear the barricade breaking. I've been playing this game for years and have never encountered any cheaters. Also, everything I've said is a lie. Bro. I was going to make a, a comment about how it seems weird that... He's like waiting so perfectly to jump out and then like looks and pays attention to stuff before it happens. Like there, instead of going to go peek the window, he comes right back to his window to wait for the ying. But then pulls that? Like... Uh, it's possible he's walling and he's just really bad, but that seemed like... Uh, it seemed like too bad to be a cheater. That was just some good headphones at work. I mean, it's possible. 100% I agree with you. It, it is possible that he was just listening very carefully. But we've seen how this guy plays. It doesn't seem like they're a good player. It doesn't seem like anyone in this lobby is a good player. So being bad at the game, but suddenly being able to tell... I exactly where someone is using sound seems like a bit of a stretch for a poor performing player and even then like he doesn't even realize that opening the camera that much actually can make it get shot so seems a little weird to have that good game sense Did he just, like, move right onto... Is that Nomad? Kinda did. Part of me wants to say he has walls. Like, how does he... I guess he would have seen the IQ and it, you could assume... That he's like, oh, maybe IQ's holding this angle, throw the impact. So I'm pretty sure the wall next to him is just unreinforced still. It is. So he could easily be wall banked here and just have no idea. As I say, he can see Sledge's hammer and he's still not even noticing. Okay, we'll see how he plays this 1v1. Fuck, okay. We did not get to see a whole lot there. Let's say 1v1s are the like perfect way to tell if someone is suspicious or not, because if they are, you can see how they play a 1v1 perfectly every single time. That was over in five seconds. That was weird. I just love Dextro. Thanks for sub Senpai Saint. Not to be rude, but you have a horrible name. Did he... Like, he keeps having these little lineups, but... They don't ever amount to anything. It just kind of is whenever he's peeking, he happens to line up with them. If they both go to Small Baker and he lets go of this angle. The big 13 -month well, he, like, he has walls, he could tell someone would be coming back, so... Might be waiting, but... He holds this angle even though they're running around. No, he doesn't. He immediately gets off the angle. Like, I'm trying to go based off of what I can see that he sees, and he constantly can see IQ over here on the right side, if he had walls, right? So, the way he keeps playing, where, like, he goes over as soon as she goes over, but then comes back as soon as she comes back, seems oddly coincidental. Like, right there, she went back over to Small Bakery, so he went over towards the door. 
I was gonna swing. But not push. Like, he went back to go look at IQ, basically, right there. Yeah, it just seems odd. Oh, the shield wasn't even there. The IQ just walked right into a frost mat. He looked way down instead of up. Long killer was killed before he could peek, but didn't really look like he knew where he was peeking from. This is the last round. They win the match here. So he didn't actually see her on the cam. That was pretty lucky. I don't even... I don't even know whether to say this would be cheating or not. It didn't... He didn't even hit her. Like, look at this. He just kind of sprays... Way up. And then this was the headshot. See, look, you already got the kill. That was the headshot. It wasn't even close. So Cav is down. It's just a 4v2 essentially. Four V one. Oh. He did see him run across, so lining up that shot wouldn't be hard, but again, this player doesn't seem that good to be doing that. So they went from bronze to Platinum, back down to gold, the entire time maintaining a negative KD. This season is their first season that they had a positive KD. And not just a positive KD, almost a 3 KD in casual. Oh, they only have 3 matches. Their four, that was their only ranked match, was that cafe match. Their ranked history is just all over the charts. Their performance history is completely hit or miss. I don't think we can definitively say they were a cheater, so we'll have to let them go. I think that was like 20 minutes. We'll move on to the second last match, which is the coastline ranked match where we have 0623777061 who's accusing thick rico through the camera went for the c4 standard play we've seen that a million times never worked on me though because i'm too good at this game that i would stop that in its tracks but we've seen that before looks like they're going on cameras a decent amount To try to give calls, but no one's around. Got off cameras as soon as Buck started, or was that Blackbeard? Started pushing VIP. Blackbeard's in VIP right now. No one's on cameras. Buckery seemed to know that Blackbeard was in there, even though it looked like they were kind of not paying attention. That pre-fire makes sense. You can see the shield, like the Blackbeard shield, before you can see the person. But if he's slow peeking, you know, it's a free kill. It did seem like they were pre-firing the tiniest bit, but... Mm, I would say... 
that round was fine for the most part. So he's trying to do the C4 run out again. He sees the fuse, or who is this? Yeah, fuse over there. Doesn't see this person, but still goes for the C4 toss. Interesting. Interesting barricade for them to come in. One sec, let's go back and see. Runs all the way out to try to see that, but goes way too far. I don't know what they were thinking. There really was no reason to know that Blackbeard was inside other than... No, you can't even see him on the camera. Or... Oh, I guess you can? Maybe he did see him on the camera. Well, we'll give him a pass on that for now. What a great camera. I think the the Jaeger hopped on it right away. Okay, let's say it looked a little weird. Like it did almost look like Valkyrie looked at the who was that thermite through the wall. But the teammate got downed right next to thermite, so they could have just been looking at the down teammate. And here it looked like they had so many opportunities to just flank faster, but chose not to, being cautious, and then died anyways. What is their plan here? Because I saw that they put one of the Banshees inside VIP, but I think it was by the bookshelf. I don't really know how it's going to benefit. I guess it could stop them by vase, maybe? I don't know. They went Dokubi and Jackal. The worst combo. I wasn't even concerned about their back. Like, what if someone was in Hall of Fame, man? Did he just shoot through the Blackbeard shield or did he destroy it? I don't know. One shot destroys it? Interesting. Not crazy, crazy. Oh, also, looks like I was mistaken where she put the banshee. I thought it was in this corner by the bookshelf, but it looks like it's not. Is there a setting to where you can have Valk hold the grip with her right hand? No, it's just a match replay bug. Doesn't seem overly concerned by the fact that they could have been shot from the doorway. Although I'm very curious as to what Jackal was actually doing, given that it looked like he just sat there for a few seconds. Oh, he came back. Or went back towards a uh, 90. And in the last few seconds here should be just waiting for IQ to run in and then blasting. Jaeger gets the kill. He also only is 3 and 1. It's not like he's going off. He's doing normal right now. He's bathroom. Free fires it. Backs off and <clears throat> yeah, goes to roof. And then dies. Did they notice that the person was there? No. If they had walls, they would have easily seen that. These are alibis up here. Don't know what that aim was, but wasn't aiming at anyone through the wall, so not suspicious yet. <clears throat> what are they doing? Oh. What was that? Just staring at a wall and then turning around to kill the rook? Or dock? That horrible aim. Hmm. 
This guy's really good at just sitting here and holding angles forever. He had a chance. No way, she just drops in hot here. Oh my god. Almost missed half of their shots. Do they aim at the rook through the wall here? No. They were about to line up, but... They're just kind of holding a generic angle through the kitchen. And there's someone over here, right? Yeah. He has no idea about the one in service. He only knows about cav and main lobby. So if he expects service, then that's suspicious. We'll just drone out Cav. <laughs> what is that Vel camera? In what world would that Vel camera help? So if three people in main lobby just roaming, and only two people on site, one is down. So I feel like the blue team is just bad. They don't seem very coordinated. Two V five. This guy hasn't even gone inside the building. Now he has, and dies. Okay, what? How is this person accused? Looking at their profile, they're a consistent plat and gold player. They started in silver or bronze and then worked their way up. They've consistently been like 1.4, 1.3 for the last five seasons. So I don't think cheating in any way. A little bit suspicious, but it was probably just like sound that we couldn't really hear through the match replay, or might have been just pure coincidence, which these things happen. Uh, last one is this one, I think. Yes. And chat is saying that they're only accusing because they're bad and they're upset or whatever, but you gotta remember, in a game like Siege, where you can pretty much safely assume that every other match has a cheater, it makes people a little bit wary. If they're playing this game and they have a cheater every other match, they're going to be like, well, this person might have been cheating because I'm just used to seeing so many cheaters. You know, it makes sense. But moving on to the last match, we have in and out Burger from the defending side accusing BlurWarukTab.lv. Also, I forgot to uh, update the hacker counter. We are now at 40 minutes since the last hacker, I think. So, something like that. I wasn't really checking the time. What? Why would... What? What was the point of that, uh, those Hibana pellets? Like, why not just shoot the window open? So all we can hear is just Maestro on his camera. Barely missed the bandit. Barely got the kill on the bandit. Finally got off the camera. Visible confusion. Yeah, I, I don't really know what they're doing on this side. So far, it doesn't look like he's walling, at least evidently. If he's expecting the guy by Zed, then I'd be a little concerned, but it looks like he's just about to run in and follow his team.
What is he doing? What is this plan? He can't even watch a diffuser from here. And now he just made a giant hole in the wall to be visible to. Hold on. And what was this kill? No one... Or There's one person on drones, but there's no drone in sight. But yet, Hibana swings here knowing that Maestro's here. Like, look at that pre-fire. What? Let's see, pre-fire the frost. Well, the frost is being spotted, so... I would say just from what we saw right there with the Maestro, I think this guy has walls. Like, I know he's being spotted by that drone there, but like the Maestro, he swung on that Maestro and was shooting before they could even see him. He was so ready for that. And how? He broke down the door. He's... he's ready for everything. Do we call it here? I think that's pretty obvious. Right? Oh my god, what are you watching? Like, this is a guy who's Hibana charging barricades and doing this with zero cams. But he has no idea, or he has a, a complete idea of where everyone is and knows where to pre-fire. If he watches his flank right here and aims perfectly for this guy, then even more obvious. The air jab went off. But he doesn't seem concerned. I just want to know how he knows where everyone is. That one wasn't that bad. But so far, all five of his kills have been free fires on people without having any intel. Other than Frost, we can argue, might have had intel. Let's see if he pre-aims the prone level. He's got a useless camera. Hmm, doesn't do anything there. He's, he's talented, we'll put it that way. He knows how to read exact positions, but he doesn't know how these gadgets work or how to use them effectively. And now he's just staring at the one person through the floor. So he puts down a camera to shoot the camera. But then breaks on the barricade when he could have just shot the camera. This dude has no idea what he's doing. But somehow manages to get six kills. He got killed by the pulse coming up from basement. I was wondering if he was going to get off cameras to go see that guy or not. I feel like defense is normally where you can really tell if someone's cheating or not based on how they play. Because a lot of people, when they're on defense and they're cheating, they'll just walk around the map hunting attackers. At least on attack, it's like, you know, it's easier to get away with it because you have to do that. You have to push around the map and hunt for defenders. But on defense, you don't have to. So if we can catch him doing something slightly sussy baka, then... Them. Do be having dope skins. Yeah. Could be using an unlock all. Unlock alls are pretty popular now, given that uh, Siege finally has good cosmetics and people still don't want to pay money. Okay, so you'd be able to hear the breaches happening. 
something like this is where I get a little bit suspicious. So, if you're a player, I know like this is just being broken into, but if you're pushing into here, would you not hold an angle onto here in case they've pushed up or in case they're already in? Mm, he doesn't care. He just walks in. He's just staring at them through the wall here. And then he's like, oh, shit, right, like, gotta hold an angle. Personally, as a player, like, I would never walk into there just assuming it's all safe here. But he knows it's safe. And he swings and pre-fires the IQ. Just crouch walking. Yeah, he fired before he even got, like, a... One sec, actually, let me, let me see the exact moment he fires. He's still looking at them through the wall. And puts his aim on the corner. And then swings and fires. I guess he has pretty good view of her. But we're also in slow motion, so... That would have had to be a pretty fast reaction, I guess. Oh. Is he trying to get an angle on this guy on camera? It looks like he's trying to get an angle on that guy. And then he realizes he can't, so he moves back. That time he face checks. The last he... Last he saw, the person was on the right side of the breach, but he's already aiming to the left side because he knows that he's coming from this side. So last evidence he has for location. And he doesn't use it. He uses something that he does not know. Unless... Nope, Valk's watching stairs. Again, this guy just sits here staring at the wall instead of actually holding angles for people who might push him. He's so bad though, he misses so many shots. I was about to skip forward, but he could still do something here. That is the very first time in this entire game that he has pre-fired a spot that no one was at. In round four, he finally peeked somewhere that someone was not pre-fired and shot nothing. Every other time, it's always been pre-firing where people are. I'll have to go back that for a second. It looks like he fixed his aim to aim at the guy properly. I guess you could see the barrel of the gun. What is this ankle? Again, this is one of those situations where it's like, okay, he sees the shots coming, he knows it's coming from the right side, but instead of holding where that person is, he holds the IQ, who's about to be here. Actually, wait, was that IQ shooting? If it was, then that would change things. Oh, it was, never mind. I thought it was the ash shooting. Okay. So him holding the left side makes sense then, because he saw the shots coming. He does see the ash shooting second, but then it holds the left side anyways. Just a little bit weird, but not, you know, like, we got him. Weird. He doesn't care about the staircase that he's being flanked from? Okay. Weird. 
All right, well, we know he wins here. So... He tried to pull out C4. He thought he had C4. And you can see... No one is pinging or anything. But he pulled out what he thought was C4. Because he was going to try to C4 the people on the left side. Realized it's barbed wire and then put it away. He was also tracking them through the wall while he was doing that. Yeah. Also, you're asking why is an unlock all bannable? Because you are... Wait, was that a Flores drone team kill? It was... Oh. You know what happened? That's hilarious. Okay. Lesion? Watch this. So Lesion swung through an impact which destroyed the Mute Jammer, which re-enabled the Flores drone, which then blew up IQ. The lesion just created a chain of events that got a team kill from a Flores drone. That is hilarious. 10 out of 10 play. Calculated. Yeah, this guy was fucking, he was doing the mathematical equations of how to do that. Also, again, looking at this, back to the person who's accused, he is holding this angle. He shot at the Osa before she was even on his screen. Because he thought that she was just sitting there in the open. This guy has walls. To some degree, he has walls, and he's using them, I would argue, fairly blatantly, but he sucks so much that it doesn't really matter. The account is a level 82, fairly new account, probably purchased. He has a 1.87 KD in plat 2. Diamond casual with a 2.11, which that doesn't really mean a whole lot, but... Yeah. I would argue he's using some type of walls. It is unranked. So maybe the people were just that bad, but... He did so many things where he was lining people up and preparing to shoot people before even seeing them that I'd say it has to be some type of a wall. Zero minutes since last hacker. Okay, that's going to be it for hacker replay. This is the last hacker replay of Crystal Guard. We'll come back with another hacker replay next week um, when the new season's out, and we're going to see all the cheaters that are already going to be in high caliber. Can't wait for that. It's going to be a lot of matches to go through. Probably a lot of placement matches, so if you're watching this on YouTube or later, um, make sure to submit your matches as soon as possible because I will be recording it on Sunday, so I need to get the matches in before then. There's going to be a link in the description if you're watching this on Twitch. There's the review command, and you can submit your stuff there. Just make sure to put a zip file and then a text document explaining what happened.